In today's video, we're going to be diving into the upcoming pattern where we remain in a very, very cold pattern ahead. This has not changed for weeks on the models and it does not change today. We expect multiple snowfall threats within there, including one for pretty far deep south locations into the mid-Atlantic and even some more eastern snow threats after that one. So let's go ahead and dive into things and as we take a look here, first off at our European model run, we can see the tail end of that overnight snowfall event uh, where I would love to hear your totals from the northeast and mid-Atlantic from that Sunday system, so let me know in the comments how much you ended up receiving. As we move towards Monday here today, uh, we can see that there is not a whole lot going on outside of some snow showers and some lake effect snowfall up here to the north and some rain here to the south and the deep south there. As we keep going towards Thursday, not a whole lot changes. Snow showers and lake effect snowfall still ongoing. Very, very cold here for the remaining pattern. Uh, that's going to last a few days, and it's not until Friday the 23rd here, four days from now, where we start to see our next snow system shaping up, where we could see areas like Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, uh, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas Panhandle, into Missouri, and even Arkansas already seeing snowfall. This snowfall event is coming in the form of Gulf Energy, combining with a lot of Arctic air, and I've talked about this, but this is linking up perfectly here to create a winter storm. As we move towards the overnight hour, we can tell that this becomes an extremely impactful winter storm as we have moderate to heavy snowfall on the northern corridor of this system with a lot of ice in between that snow and rain. And this would be for a lot of Texas, including Dallas, Fort Worth into Northern Louisiana, Southern Arkansas, Northern Mississippi, Northern Alabama, Southern Tennessee, and even into North Carolina there, where the ice is very likely in this scenario to be more impactful than even the snowfall. And the snowfall will be quite intense actually, and for some pretty rare Southern areas. Uh, as of now on this model. So let's keep going towards the day here on Saturday and we can see a lot of this wintery activity is beginning to shift eastward as we see more of Georgia and South Carolina and North Carolina here involved in the ice and a lot more heavy snowfall on that northern corridor which has trended northward as I talked about yesterday where we see a lot more of the mid-Atlantic involved. So these models are kind of ticking to the north and this is going to put more of those, again, Ohio Valley, Mid-Atlantic, and maybe even eventually Northeast areas in the crosshairs of this one. If we do see uh, these models stick with these trends to the north. As we keep going, that heavy snowfall continues into the morning of Sunday the 25th for a lot of the southern Mid-Atlantic and even northern Southeast with continued ice for Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina before that one comes to an end Sunday evening. Now that would be an extremely impactful winter storm as I mentioned earlier. We will take a look at the total snowfall in a little bit here. Let's keep going though with this model and we see we remain very, very cold, actually colder than before by the time we're reaching early to mid next week. Uh, very deep Arctic air for days and days and days. Still there by f Thursday, Friday, 29th, 30th. It's important to note that we have a ton of Gulf moisture here and also Southeast moisture combined with this very intense Arctic air. So if anything tries to come together, it does have an inherent risk of climbing along that jet stream and posing a snowfall risk along that East Coast corridor. So we're gonna be watching for that continuously. And as we keep going, we can tell we don't really get any other winter storms on this particular European model run, but we do remain colder uh, even all the way through the end of the model run, which would be on February 3rd. So continued wintry weather, uh, essentially, all the way through the entire model run. Now, with all that being said, let's go ahead and take a look here at the GFS model, get a different perspective here. And yesterday, this model was a lot further to the south with this snowfall threat across the central and eastern states. And we could tell today isn't really an exception. We can see the snow and ice line is much further to the south here with snowfall as far southward as Georgia, South Carolina, and Alabama, at least the central regions of those states, and even into central Texas with ice reaching the Gulf Coast in areas like Houston and very, very close um, 
to a lot of these Gulf Coast locations, although it's a little bit to the north the further east you go. Still, this is a much further to the south uh, example, and it's important to note here that the GFS does tend to have a little bit of a southeast bias, meaning that you can expect this to potentially climb northward, not only on the European model, but especially here from the GFS model where these tend to be shown, especially when they're on the east coast, uh, they tend to be a little bit too far to the southeast, and we'll pay attention to that and remember that. It's not every time, but it just does have a tendency to be too far to the southeast in the medium range, and it does usually correct to the north. Now, once we get going, we can see we actually get another winter storm for mid that week after, where again, we're still warm in the west, cold in the east here. Snowfall occurring up and down the mid-Atlantic, Ohio Valley, and north northeast here but we could tell that the majority of the snowfall from this system would be there over the southern mid-atlantic that one innocently moves offshore but we do actually get a more impactful winter storm rising up from the gulf that does bring heavy snowfall to the ohio valley mid-atlantic and then into the northeast here for the early early february time frame where we remain cold all the way through february 4th here from this particular model now uh, the total precipitation here from your European model, we could really, really get a sense for the flow of precipitation here. A lot of this energy uh, is moving in from the Gulf. Uh, we also get some of this rising up the East Coast. So that's your general flow uh, as these troughs are moving in uh, just like this. So we're going to get a lot of cold air. And we're going to get a lot of that Gulf moisture rising up into it, which is going to just bring multiple occasions with potential for snowfall events. Now, total snowfall, speaking of, for the European model, is a pretty hefty snow system here for areas from the plains, lower Midwest, or maybe some areas just to the north of the deep south. I don't know what you'd call Missouri and Arkansas, all that region, but uh, areas just to the east of the plains there. I consider the uh, Missouri to be the Midwest, um, but correct me if I'm wrong there. Uh, we do see areas in Kentucky and Tennessee getting nearly a foot of snowfall in some locations. And same story with West Virginia. Virginia in the mid-Atlantic there where it might be one to two feet of snowfall popping up from this model. So a very, very hefty snow system. Um, and I will actually show you guys the freezing rain as well here. Uh, just so we can get a feel for that. And it would be massive, massive totals across the south central and southeastern states as well as a lot of the Gulf states. So this is really something that we hope to see these models trend away from because this would be devastating for these deeper south locations uh, to be seeing this much ice from a massive winter storm. And it's only around five days out, so it's not super far out either. Confidence is growing, so we have to move. We have to hope that it moves away from this very, very icy scenario, which would obviously just be a complete disaster down there to the south. Total snowfall on the GFS model is a little bit more east based. We could tell there's a little bit less going on for the plains and uh, areas there uh, in Arkansas, Mississippi, Tennessee. Uh, but on the eastern side of things, we could tell that we do get really, really decent totals for the northern, southeast, Ohio Valley mid-Atlantic and northeast here getting a lot of snowfall over the next two weeks according here to this GFS model. With all that being said guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Uh, be sure to subscribe. We upload every single day and you can even hit the bell icon for daily notifications when we upload so you never miss one. Be sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.